What's good, everybody? This is Charles and Team of COG coming at you guys here with Infernoble Knights post Dune. I proxied all the support here, and uh, we're going to be showcasing you guys a quick, you know, test of the deck uh, to show you guys what this deck can do. A strong start here by leading off with Connector, Connector, and the Dolphin, and then we're just going to fire it off here. We're going to get to show you the one card combo, and we're going to show you like some other cool lines here. I played against Labyrinth, which I hate back row decks. We won the dice roll, which was really good. So we're going to Dolphin effect. Look at his hand, rip the droll, and we see just traps and a call by the grave. Uh, so the hand's pretty pretty nasty looking. We're not going to be able to rip more cards with Dolphin. Um, there's actually like a two card combo. It's like connector plus any extender allows us to rip two cards and end on a Baron and a uh, Charlemagne. But it's old here. We're going to add a Roland, which is a new addition to the deck. Old card, but new addition. We're going to use Isolde, and we're going to pay the cost, sending four. And this is going to show you guys, like I said, this new combo, the new deck is so fleshed out. It is so, it's so nice. And uh, I was looking, trying to find a Joyous, and then I, like, looked in my hand, and then I realized that I have Joyous, so I got to send Almus instead, which Almus is one of the new equip spells that we're getting. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and send. There we go. Send four to go ahead and summon out Ogier from the deck. Ogier is going to use its effect to go ahead and send Gearfried. Uh, normally, in this case, you'd send the Turpin. But since we already had the Turpin in hand, we were able to, you know, use it. So Turpin's new. Uh, Turpin just allows himself to be special summoned from the hand or grave if you control a monster that's with an equipped with a quiz spell. But we're going to make the OGR Torgus grabbing two of the Noble Arms from the graveyard and equipped in Joyous from hand using Durandal's effect. We're going to go ahead and grab Ricardetto. He's also new on normal or special summon. Uh, he allows us to special a level four lower from the graveyard. And then we get Warrior Locked. Uh, so right here, and then he has like a graveyard effect, banished a special one from hand, and it's treated as a tuner, which is really cool. So I'm cal calculating here, I can go into um, Ferocious Flame Swordsman, which is a really cool card to go into, or another Isolde. And the reason I choose another Isolde is I thought I had a double Charlemagne line, but I didn't. So uh, Joyce is going to allow me to special summon out the Ricardetto because it was sent to the graveyard. Synchro summoning here into Angelica. Angelica going to grab us the... Um, Museum. Museum's the field spell. Activate it. Pay 12 to go ahead and grab Durandal, which we've already used, so it's just free fodder at this moment. We're going to go ahead and banish two for Phoenix Blade. Then we're just going to fire off Phoenix Blade, target the Angelica, chain her effect to go ahead and send, which it really doesn't matter. I think I just sent a red layer. It, it doesn't, we've already got all of our targets out of the deck. Chain Angelica to banish itself to summon out Roland from the extra deck. Uh, we're going to use Turpin to target Roland, the field spell to special Turpin, and then we synchro for the Emperor Charles, but not only does Emperor Charles get a better effect now, he gets to go Super Saiyan into Charlemagne. So now not only is he a quick, you know, a pop, he's also a spell and trap and a gate. Uh, so now I do have Gear Freed, I believe. I, yeah, I have Gear Freed in hand as well. Or I get Gear Freed back, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and I, if you guys see my hand, I had Rhoda, so I actually wanted to play a round roll because Droll's kind of prominent in our locals anyway. So I wanted to play around roll, so I decided to go ahead and summon Dolphin first, which, as you guys can see, pretty good thing that I did that. I also had Tactics too, so I was going to be able to look at his hand, but we're going to fire off Gearfree here. Uh, Gearfree was added back by the Almus, if you guys missed that, but Rhoda's going to go ahead and grab us the Renaud. And then I special summon out the Renaud, I believe, here. Uh, yes, I do. There we go. Th this deck is just so crazy, and I'm just looking at like what I can target and add back into my Banished. So I special Renaud, use Renaud's effect. I'll uh, go ahead and look through my graveyard. I'll just go ahead and add back Recardado for a follow-up normal summon. And then I'm going to go ahead and I believe Synchro off the Gearfried here. And I do this because I know what his hand is. Gearfried is a monster negate. Gearfried is not going to do nothing to this hand. So I want to get an Omni on board, uh, which I do by getting Baron. So in phase, uh, Angelic Resolves and Charlemagne will pick up the Metal Silver from the grave and then equipped out the Oliver from deck. So we have the Metal Silver Lock here making pretty much his, uh, I think it's, he has Dogmatic of Punishment, so we already have one card dead, like, immediately in his hand. And then Charlemagne is a spell and trap negate, so we're going to be able to uh, negate the uh, spell and trap. Like, spell and trap, and then we're on, on top of that during, because he has to set everything, right? So he sets everything in the face. Charlemagne, who is being treated as Charles, will activate its effect to equip. Uh, so then we go ahead and do that. And uh, we get to pop a card, which is really nice. So it just allows for like, like if you win the dice roll, let's be honest, like this gets to be really good here. So as you guys will see, uh, but I think I fire off Roland instead because I want to get Roland on field to be able to um, send for a Charles Negate to get a, to get the ability to add in the end phase. So we're just going to go ahead and, you know, before he passes, Roland, draw for turn. And then, so right now, if you guys don't know, I was spending a lot of time with family in Kentucky. So like I'm missing my my access code and my unicorn currently so i don't have that so this is why you're going to see this kind of other play here uh, however i highly recommend just literally climbing up into unicorn and uh, access code for game you don't have to do what i do here but it's kind of like a little show-off move you can do especially if you get warrior locked but 
Uh, we're going to use Baron's Effect to destroy a card. And now I just want to just start popping these back rows here. That, that's essentially what I want to do. And we're going to do that very, uh, very easily here. And it's really nice that we were able to XYZ with the Turpins, because so Turpin could stay in Grave and not get banished. But we're going to go ahead and link here into, should be a Unicorn, should be a Unicorn, but instead it's going to be a Ferocious Flame Swordsman, just because I don't have a Unicorn. And then we're going to go ahead and activate the Field Spell to go ahead and get another search for Durandal, which we do not need, but we have. And Durandal is just going to, you know, allow us, by doing that we get to use the Field Spell's second effect to special summon up a monster. So in order to keep the lock going on, we decided to summon up Ogier, because I know he has the uh, punishment. We go ahead and special out Turpin and make Kustanen. So Kustanen is really cool. Like Kustanen is sweet. So we're gonna detach to to shuffle two back, and uh, he's going to just try to call by the grave. And I'm just like, uh, whatever you want to call it by the grave, buddy. And um, he, I think he's gonna go for the gear free. And I was like, he could go for the Roland, but I could just chain the Roland, so it doesn't matter. So he's going to attempt to chain, but it, you know, at the end, you know, it doesn't matter. So that was it for game one. We're gonna wrap, go ahead and go into game two here and please remember guys if you guys want to help support the channel hit that like button check out our links down below check out imperium duelist everything you do helps the channel greatly and uh yeah we're doing, just gonna hop on into game number two all right guys game number two uh we don't get to go first a uh, labyrinth gets to go first and that's not good for us uh, at all i wish I, we could probably like fly through here uh, if we really needed to um, because it's not going to be pretty. It is not going to be pretty. He gets the Ku Kluck Clock. The, oh my goodness. The Ku Kluck Clock. And he gets just that summon Labyrinth stuff. Like, I'm not too familiar with this deck. I think that, and, and to be honest with you, like, Labyrinth ain't too bad. It's just the fact that it gets access to normal traps. It's not just normal Labyrinth traps. It's like it gets access to Epidemic Virus. And that's what I think makes this deck kind of annoying and kind of the unfairness of this deck is, like, it literally has access to, to some of the best... Uh, normal traps out there, which I don't believe any deck should have, like, access to Epidemic Virus, you know? Uh, especially since it literally blows out, like, one, or it blows out spells or traps, so it blows out one-third of, like, the game's mechanics that you could have in your hand, but maybe I'm just being a hater, but he's gonna use this other one here to destroy a card in my hand. You don't, if you guys knew how many times I've got a card popped out of my hand, it'd be unreal. So he's gonna hit number four, which is just the call by, which was probably the only type of interruption I'd pretty much have but he's just going to, um, you know, he's just going to keep going, doing labyrinth stuff, setting traps, getting traps, resetting stuff. It's it's ridiculous. But we're going to draw for turn, and we're just going to literally, on my turn, he's going to go ahead and flip over Big Welcome. I think that's what that one is. That's Welcome or Big Welcome. Not too sure, not too sure at all. Uh, but he's going to set that, which he doesn't even have to set that, but then he can special summon out. Oh, that's one of the special summons. So he summons out the candle. Bounce something back. Since the car was bounced back, the one that pops something gets to pop something again. And she's going to go ahead and pop. Let's see what she ends up hitting here. I believe it was a my hand my hand has a lot of spells, actually. And he's gonna chain epidemic virus, actually. Hits all the spells, and this is what my hand is. It's red layer, and then the car gets to destroy something. So he ends up hitting Oliver, and I have red layer and Ogier, or red layer and Renaud left, which is not bad, actually. I mean it's still doable. Like my hand is still like you know, if he didn't have four sets, I still had, I was still like in the races, but playing through these four sets, which, you know, I know that we know what a few of them are, but he's still just doing his labyrinth things. And yeah, gosh, guys, like this, this deck, there's a reason that this deck is pretty, uh, pretty good. I think, I mean, it's not the best deck. I know we were watching. I didn't, I believe plants just won the European nationals, right? I think I don't quote, don't quote me on it, but I think they just won huge shout out to Jessica for being the pilot of that deck. I, that deck is crazy too, but you're, you know, your boy here is just gonna, as soon as Dune comes, guys, these videos, then we're gonna just gonna, we're just gonna drive out dual video, like Infernoble video after Infernoble after Infernoble. We're gonna go to events. We're gonna have a new playmat coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Probably multiple playmats coming out just because like, oh, this deck is just so, so fleshed out now. It feels so good. Even though know, right now I'm getting completely flip flop controlled here. Uh, it is okay. So I end up adding back Durandal with the Renaud. I end up doing, I think I end up equipping Durandal to his like normal summon monster just so like he can't just like send my monster away. Uh, but this really doesn't matter, I believe. I believe he has like an imperm and stuff that he's going to be able to just, you know, imperm my is old. Like I'm, I'm not getting far. Like it's actually, you know, it's, it's interesting to see like even though like I guess the deck can play through stuff, right? So like you're going to see like how much like gas this deck really plays. And even though now I arguably, I'm still not in the biggest fan of playing hand traps in this deck. I still, like, as much as I'd love to fit, like, Ash or something like that, 
I think gas is the best way to do it. I think this deck has like inherently the fire warrior stuff plays through so much that it, um, oh gosh, it just plays through so much that you just, sometimes it doesn't, what's the purpose of, you know, ashing them once if you're not gonna stop them? And then my theory kind of hangs over, like there is, unless you're branded, uh, Ash is not stopping your turn. And even now, branded has evolved to where branded like has combo lines that are in case branded fusion does get ashed. Uh, so we're gonna watch uh, him activate the, the deep root card, I think. So he's gonna send these old and set my quick spell just to be janky, just, just to, just to get me with it since I've already used it, but yeah. So like, like I said, and I don't, you know, honestly, like this deck can play under Droll. I'm still trying to figure out, like there's so many lines that this deck can do. And this is a 40 card list currently. It's pretty much pure to be honest with you. But here we go, guys. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the game number three here. But yeah, so like there's like lines you can do without going, like adding off of his old, like you can summon Dolphin from the deck. And I'm still learning, but we're going to see Red Layer Touchdown. And I have Dolphin in hand, and I think this was a, I think this was a misplay on him. Uh, kinda, kind of a misplay, I guess. I mean, I don't understand the Labyrinth thinking too clearly, uh, but I think he just put a lot of fear on Dolphin here. So you'll see, I normal summon Dolphin. And he has, you know, a normal summon. I have nothing, it's the effect activates, not on summon, but just as an activated effect. So he has the ability, I see he has three, three of the furnitures in his hand. So he's just going to start chaining the Ku Klux, the Ku Klux clock. I, that, man, that, that card is such a tongue twister. And he chains, I think, the candle or something like that to set a card. And then I believe the card he, I think the Ku Klux, the Ku Klux clock allows you to activate um, the card, like, he, you know, a card set. But anyway, uh, he's just gonna go on. He's gonna use the big welcome to summon out the one, the Lady Labyrinth, the one that pops, I believe. Yep, there she is. Uh, she's gonna get to destroy a card on fielder in hand. And I think hindsight, he shouldn't, so he fears the dolphin and he does this correctly. I, I, he does he does really do this correctly because he argued and said maybe he shouldn't have done it, but he did do correctly. He gets rid of the dolphin and my hand's actually not that great. Like I don't have another extender in my hand. Uh, so in theory, if I did not see t triple tactics, which I have in my hand right now, uh, I would have, you know, that would have been the end of my turn. So, actually, wait a second. I see I have Oliver and Ricardetto. It's because I opened Ricardetto that makes this difficult. Because uh, I have to pitch the Ricardetto to summon Oliver, and then there's, like, no combo sequence. I Because Ricardetto is part of, like, the combo line, and if you open him, uh, you have... you have He's not a brick because you have ways to get him out of your hand regardless, as you guys will see here. Uh, but I end up using Triple T to draw two. I draw Triple T and a um, Phoenix Blade, I believe. Yeah, see, I drew a triple, triple T and a Phoenix Blade. And I've seen a lot of people move away from playing two Triple Ts and moving to playing one, but we're going to use uh, Oliver, which is all we needed is to see another Fire Warrior and Equip Spell just to be able to keep Ricardetto on hand. Because right now, we're just going to go ahead and go into Isolde and use Isolde's effect to go ahead and add a Roland, because now we're off to the races. I believe, I you know, after I get all this, like, I get it. So we're going to send it for, we're going to send Joyous, Durandal, Metal Silver, and I believe Almas again because I opened, or I drew into the Phoenix Blade to go ahead and summon out Ogier. Ogier is going to dump the Turpin. And this is like the one card combo that I've showcased you guys before on the channel. You can do this with two Warriors, one Connector, you can do it with Sublimation Knight. It's just a one card combo. And it's good, like it, it's consistent because like you get to use like, I mean, let's check this out. Like you get to make the OG King Arthur, like isn't that just kind of cool? And King Arthur equips up to three cards from the graveyard. Uh, which I'm contemplating on doing, so I do do it. I think that was dumb of me to do, but we're gonna go ahead and use Durandal to go ahead and search. And normally right here, you would search out Ricardetto, but we opened it, right? So we're just gonna search out Renaud to allow us to extend because I know through my combo sequence that I'm gonna get gear free to the grave. But see, we link off here. This is what's cool. We link off and you make Ferocious Flame Swordsman. The, he's he's crazy too. He gives everything a 500 buff. And then Joyous, since it was sent, allows you to special summon Ricardetto from the hand. Ricardetto brings back Ogier, make Angelica. Angelica gets you Museum. So we're gonna pay 12, which sucks to pay because if you get close in time, you're just gonna, it's gonna be rough. But now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Banish Jew, target Angelica, Angelica's effect, chain dump, gear freed, banish, summon Roland from the deck. So here is Roland uh, right now, he's touched down. And again, like we're gonna be able to just pick this board kind of apart, like really Turpin effect to equip, Museum's effect to summon, make Char Charles, Charles will equip Roland. Charles will go ahead and use its pop to pop the big lady, link into Charlemagne. And then we're going to, we're just, just, he was asking questions about like how it works, but we're gonna special summon Renaud. Renaud's gonna go ahead and add back the gear freed. 
And then we banish the Durandal to summon the Gearfried. And right here, like I said, since we know he's playing a like mostly trap deck, um, we I mean like we know he has a lot of stuff in his hand, so we're just gonna go ahead and make Baron use Baron's effect to pop the the candle. And since he's already used the candle, so everything right now on the field, well, not everything, Baron's gaining 500 attack from the Ferocious Flame Swordsman, and all Fire War, and Ferocious Flame Swordsman is given every, every, all Warriors 500 attack, and the Museum's given all Fire Warriors 500 attack. So right now, Charles is gaining 1,500, so he's actually at 45. But we're going to see him fire off with Extravagance, and we got to respond with Charles, Charlemagne, uh, sending Charles to the graveyard. And... Uh, I think that's, you know, that's about all she, that's all she wrote. Like this, like, even like the guys, like, look at this right now. This is literally three disruptions, a spell, a trap, and a gate, a pop, and an omni negate. Like this, this is insane, to be honest with you. And we got that new equip spell revealed that allows us to beat Dark Ruler, which fun fact, if you guys have not noticed, the artwork on that card is Angelica. Her ring or something like that is special. And here we actually, speaking of Angelica, she was supposed to come back in the end phase two to be an extra body, but... We forgot. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and normal summon whichever one this is that allows him to add any Labyrinth card, I believe. And that's okay. We're not scared. Again, what he's what he's gonna do. We already know that he, you know, he's down in card economy in the hand. Whatever he, you know, sets, Charles will pop um, during the end phase if I'm not forced to go ahead and respond right away. So, it's, I mean, yeah, it's kind of crazy. And he was telling me that he's had some things, he had some things he could do, but they all require targeting and uh, a targeting a Labyrinth monster, but he couldn't because of Metal Silver Armor. So again, it's kind, of, it's kind of crazy. It is like literally just insane. And Charlemagne is a one-man army on his, like by himself, like 4,500. Then you have Baron. And if you know, I think I ended up negating something with Baron, moving a little bit further, but then you get to like tag out Baron into like the gear freed. Really cool. But he's gonna summon the big lady. And uh, we're just asking some questions. He's just asking, but he, he kind of sees the writing on the wall. He's like, wow, I really can't, like I can't beat over this because of how big they are. So. We end up just kind of scooping it up from here. He just admits defeat, but thank you guys so much for watching.